Hello and welcome. My name is Sheep Thief, and today I'll be coming at you with some Dominion's Five Warriors of the Faith online multiplayer gameplay. Today I'll be playing Hinam. We're on turn 20. I've got my cat on my lap here. Messenger from Fomoria. His cap is at. So he got attacked by Tuna Nog. His cap is at 185, and so far he only took 196. Sitting there, not moved for two turns, so maybe he decided he should build a fort there. He sent out some raids, but they failed due to me predicting where he would move and invest some PD there. For the hammer, I think that plus three gems is usually a fair price for items for boosters. I sometimes now charge plus five. So he thinks 18 air gems is a decent price. Okay, that's I would take that. P.S. I also saw my Vernie's Bless, Berserk, and Strength plus 2. The Thrice Horned Boar. Not sure if it is was who you originally gave me the information about, the boar. TNN's Bless is Invulnerability 10, Air Shield, and Cold Weapons. The Invuln is somewhat annoying, I assume, but the Cold Weapons... This guy's spelling is funny. Are not going to do shit against my big guy's build in cold... Built-in cold resistance and all that. Okay. <clears throat> Castle Arcanum. I don't know what that is. It sounds pretty crazy. <clears throat> Minus seven unrest. Handful of air gems. Ice sword. As a cunning wizard has donated a magical object to the local lord in return for protection against the superstitious peasantry. He was immediately transported to the treasury. <clears throat> A cluster of five stars could be seen shining more brightly than usual for a week. This is interpreted as an omen of good luck and fertility. Okay, good. That will counteract the death throne that we have. Battle affliction occurred. Norville is being... is being dealt with. Okay. So, uh, first of all, I want to see what this Castle Arcanum business is. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. <coughs> I guess we just get a fort. <coughs> That's pretty nice. Enables recruitment of wizard, one earth, one fire, <coughs> and warrior mage. Holy moly. Okay. We have fire. We don't have water. And astral is always good. It's good research. Expensive, but good research. And warrior mage. Farcaster. Two recruitment points. And some paths. Be a good thug. Or combat caster. Definitely be a good thug. Holy moly. We just need a lab for these two. Our gold, though. Okay, you're gonna build a lab. Well, okay. We need to think about whether or not we need this. That's a crazy sight. Okay. And we get a free insane fort on our throne. So that's nice. Okay, I realized uh, we can summon... Or um, we can do... Shadow Imps instead of Scouts. Um, and now the question is, research wise, we're gonna get uh, Seirim Se next turn. Okay, so this Fire Sword should go to you. So I learned that these Astral 
Mel cards are kind of useless because they can just get magic dueled. This is a noob game, and so whether or not um, people will be doing that is unclear. But um, supply usage, okay, good. Um, So I kind of want to just, oh look at this, there's fighting happening. This is where Ulm used to be, looks like Ulm's getting elfed. Uh, I, what I want to do is do a sort of survey of, um, there. I want to do kind of a survey of Ermor's lands and decide whether or not we should go to war with him. We're right next to his capital, we could push on top of it. What I want to avoid is Marverni getting uppity. I'm going to send a message to him. Greetings. How fares your empire? It seems Helheim and Ulm have gone to war. Any news? Uh, I don't want these scouts. I wish there was a way to disband units. Is there a way to like... I don't like having all these scouts that aren't even that good. And um they are like 30 gold a year. I guess we'll just send them out. I kind of want to go this way. Ring of fire. Wait, let's scale mail. So this is so far the only thug we really, or the super combatant, super combatant we really have. Could start kidding him out, um, but. Let me think. I was realizing we need construction for too. But we still have gotten like no alteration. I think just alteration two is worth it. Alteration three is iron skin, that would be good. Luck would be good, protection would be good. Mist form would be good. Oh, we can't. We can only cast it on themselves. Uh, but at the very least, alteration two. Then maybe construction four.
I don't know whether or not it's better to You know, we need a unrest quelling thing there. So I'm going to have you make your way over here. I don't know whether or not it's better to just drop a mail cart on the province to blood hunt it quickly, or if we should do it to a less valuable place. Like, maybe, the thing is, they, I've read that it's, you want to do it to a place that's over 5,000, so maybe this. We built a fortress on that, though. This is next to my capital. This doesn't have 5,000. This has this crazy thing. What are we recruiting here? We're getting a ball next turn. You will make items. You for now. Okay, we're thinking about what to do with you. Head into these lands. We're gonna recruit these since we're getting a ball out next turn. Okay, we can only do that many. We need another Dwarven Hammer for uh, for him. We'll get 18 air gems, so I'll tell him that. This is a message to uh, Fomoria regarding his war. Okay, good luck. If I was nearby, I might join in for the sake of my brother giant. In the meantime, I am forging you a Dwarven Hammer, 18 Air Gems is a, it's fine with me as a deal. I will have it next turn. Yeah, it does look like Ermor's lands are more extensive than I thought. Um, here's the thing. I, I'm using tons of... Ouch. Kitty. I'm using tons of gold. And so I think I need this province. Grow three... 20,000 population. Like, I could blunt hunt it a little bit, but I don't want to burn it to the ground. The only other options are this. This. Dathan. No, because that's next to my capital. I don't know if doing it next to your capital is bad or not. <laughs> I 
We could lightly blood hunt with uh, Cohen, but we don't have the item yet, and it will it won't be that effective. If we blood hunt with a Melkart, it will be like effective. And we need at least, like I ideally, we get five Serim per cast. And it's 23 blood slaves. So if we're getting 50 a month, we could be getting 10 Serim a turn. I'd like it to be more. If we had 100, we could get uh, 20 Serim per turn. So that it's not like... Let me confirm that. 23 for 5. I think it's wiser to do it to a province that I don't really care about. Maybe this one. This one already has a lab in it though. What the fuck? Looks like Ermer is kind of winning this. I mean, uh, sorry, Helheim. He's besieging there. I don't know, since I'm not like immediately at war right now, I don't really want to burn this province to the ground. So I think we'll do it here. Zero population here, look at that. Alright, uh, we also can... Let's just test it here. Wait, what are the... Okay, yeah, it gets rid of resources, so you can't really recruit even if you have zero population. It seems like a waste of a fortress, though. We got a lab here. How many people? Eight thousand. I think it's worth it to pump out those wizards, and those warrior mages too. Like, how much are they? One thirty-five. That's not bad. You can put it, items on them; they can get pretty good stuff. Yeah. These could even be like sort of um anti we could put them on we could like mass recruit them because they're only two recruitment points. So we could get them out every turn. How much are they uh f Of 
course. I don't know. They could be kind of like backline assassins on the flank. With like swords of sharpness or something. Go after giants or elf commanders. So we're getting a lab up there. We've got 155 gold left. That is 4,000, 2,000, 3,000. Dathan? Is this the, uh, the sacrificial lamb? No, it's next to my capital. Is that that bad, though? We could do this here. The ports, the forts pull in resources. Are thirty-three resources that big a deal? Let's just kind of test it out. We'll um, we'll start with this one. Undress. This has 20,000 people in it. 153 income. We have a fort and a lab there. I think it's unwise to just destroy it. So let's let's try it in a province next to my capital and see how bad it gets. Um, so we'll move... What about Wolvormory? The unrest is already terrible. We have a patrol army coming. Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. Come here. And, uh, yeah. Why are you moving over there? Stay here. Research. Take an iron quill. Okay, we'll give the imps to the, uh, the dedicated researchers. You actually can't get rid of it? Okay. 77 research per month, not terrible. Not amazing, but not terrible. Could be worse. Then we've got some money for patrollers. You know, I'd rather summon patrollers. What can you summon? Nothing. What about you? Nothing. Any of these blood people? Not really. Okay, so for now we have to use troops. Question is how long is this gonna take? One, two, three, four, five turns. How long have we been recording? Twenty four minutes. Alright. Kinda wanna get the Run down on the war. See, you are besieging Ulm. Congratulations. Well done. 
how fares the war? Why did I put apostrophe there? This fort here. I want to. I, I want to attack or more. But uh, I think other than that, we are pretty much good. I do want to check. What time is it? We've got a few more minutes. Uh, I want to check our unrest. Eight, eight, seven. Only Wolvormery is out of control. And then Silvermark. Where is that? Okay. Let's just bring this up to 11, or to 10, and then, um, we're just still waiting on some research. Uh, next turn we're getting Serim, so we'll start recruiting those, and uh, also we'll start getting into Conjuration, which we can used to get a number of things. We get a lot of wolves and um, these might be good against giants if we go to war with Fomoria, but uh, against Ermor elementals will be good. Um, We'll also get summon earth power. We'll get Mazakim. We could maybe kind of try to get into death. And then in about six turns, we'll be um, in the in the area of uh, getting our god on the field. Actually, wait, no. Never mind. It'll be another turn after that. Okay, uh, I think this is all I'm going to do. I still feel like my army's kind of small, but I just want to save money. So I'm going to wait on recruiting things. And I think we're going to see the extent of Irmor's lands. And um, once we get the Serim out, I think our first target might be Irmor. Although, yeah, okay. Um, we'll keep, I'm not committing into anything. Uh, that's all. Thank you for watching. Um, who's moving over there? So, and yeah, we've decided to blood hunt Wolvormery into extinction. So, anyway, uh, we'll, I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Uh, catch you in the next episode.